So, I have been following a low-fat diet and not eating processed sugar for the last six weeks. I gotta tell you all about it. I'm spilling all the tea and letting you know what's going on with my low-fat diet and how I'm feeling. Keep watching to find out more. Welcome back to Health at 38. This is Kyla Denano. I have to tell you about how I've been feeling the last six weeks. So I put up videos where I've talked about how I'm eating plant-based, how I am no longer eating processed sugar, and I did give you an update after I think about a week of eating to let you know how I was feeling. Then I gave you an update after a month where I let you know that I actually signed up for a plant-based meal subscription kit so that I could get meals delivered to me. And I've been eating this way for the last six weeks. So I want to let you know the good, the bad, and the ugly about eating plant-based and limiting my processed sugar for the last six weeks. So the good things, my energy level has completely rebounded. The first week, it was just really hard for me to just try. I think it was, it was probably mostly mental where I was like, oh, you can't eat this, you can't eat that. Woe is me, life is so hard but I've completely rebounded. My energy level now is through the roof. And I will say that I've been a lot more creative with the vegetables that I can eat and the fruits and all those different things. So it's less of a punishment for me to have to change my diet and more of something that I'm looking forward to. So I'll give you an example. I'm eating a lot of homemade salsa with rice cakes. I'm also eating tomato onion salad, which I ate before. A lot of the Indian spiced restaurants, they give you this really good vinaigrette that goes on top of them so good <laughs> also um, i'm doing a lot of fresh fruit so you know my breakfast might be two pounds of cherries i want to eat them i don't have to feel like i'm cheating and i'm getting the natural sugar from that which has been really good or i'll just have some watermelon watermelon is all water you eat enough of that and you'll be full i've been switching it up and i'm finding that the variety of it is really fun um, if I go out somewhere, I'll get like f the cauliflower bites or the fried cauliflower. I also, french fries, french fries still exist. And a lot of restaurants have baked fries or I can bake them myself. I want to call it a bad, but I guess it's not a bad. I do have to remind myself to drink more water. But I think that's because the foods that I'm eating have so much water in them that I'm not just craving water. Like your body will just tell you, you'll just be doing something. You're like, I am parched. Like parched I don't have that feeling so I was gonna say a bad is that I'm not drinking that much water but I think I'm getting it from the foods that I'm eating so kudos to that the ugly of eating plant-based meals for the last six weeks is that I have been craving fried foods like crazy I'm like well if you're eating vegetables how about some fried zucchini how about some you know sauteed yellow squash how about some of this so it's like I've decided that I was not going to eat sugar and now my body is like give me the grease give me the fat give me all the stuff so that has been surprising to me that that's one of the uglies so another good thing is that I am back to drinking the smoothies I went through a phase where I got really tired of just cleaning the blender all the time and I was I was just kind of over it usually I would say now I'm drinking them like every other day just because I don't want to burn out on the smoothies like I was before I was I was over them I went through a about a week of of eating meat I was just like hamburger I'll take that pizza I want some pepperoni and extra cheese I don't know at first I was like oh this is easy I think because my because I'm doing this for my health my doctor told me she'll put me on a prescription if I don't get it together I was like go 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 and then like two or three weeks ago my body was like give it to me give me all the stuff and I just I wanted every single thing so I'm realizing that the extremes are not really good for me <laughs> I probably needed to ease in there a little bit more because you know I get hungry I look in the fridge I'm like oh I got my prepared meals let's grab one of those deli meat or hot dog so yeah it was like I went the extreme and did all the right stuff and bought all the right stuff and then my body was like give me that um, it could also be that I'm craving iron. So it could be that or maybe I was craving the protein. So another good thing, I am almost 100% off of coffee. I will have it maybe once every two or three weeks. It's not something that I need to keep me up and that is really great. So I went from drinking it with just a little bit of creamer and that's how I always would drink it. I like dark brown coffee. <laughs> it's like the color of my skin. <laughs> that's how little cream is actually in it. 
and then I went to trying to just drink it black that didn't work so then I switched over to cha and I was drinking just that tea in the morning and that was keeping me awake and now I'm, I'm kind of just waking up and I'm fine but that has to do with the ugly which is a good ugly um, I've started to exercise so I've been going to the gym I've been walking for about a half an hour every day and that's if I don't get a chance to get outside so I'll go out with one of my co-workers for my consulting job and walk around with them or I'll just go out for a walk on the treadmill downstairs at the gym so of course I have to deal with my hair and it being sweated out and greasy and all of that good stuff but it's worth it because it feels good to be able to get up and move my body and I've been sleeping really well so a bonus good is that I've been sleeping well now that I'm back going to the gym even doing the kind of low stuff like just walking or I'll do some interval running where I will walk for a minute run for two walk for a minute I really like that and that's a good quick way to burn a sweat so in June I put up a video a quick short where I got on the scale and I had lost seven pounds from only changing my food habits because I didn't have time to be at the gym I was just really busy with work and travel and stuff and so I am curious to see if there's going to be another change or if it's just going to be plateaued because of me going to the gym um, another good thing is that I can eat a whole purple carrot meal now. In this video I was talking about how I get two meals out of one of their prepared meals because they are so large. The servings are just ginormous. Well now that I'm actually going to the gym and moving my body, the servings aren't too big anymore. It's actually perfect energy for me. So that is a good thing. I'm still enjoying those prepared meals. They're still extremely convenient and that's a good thing. I would say a bad is how often we are grocery shopping, but that's the nature of the summertime. We don't have a garden here at our apartment complex. We don't have a backyard where we're growing fruit. So we are at the store a lot for peaches, nectarines, all of the fruit that's fresh. Um, apricots were out, cherry season. You, There's such a short window for stone fruits. And so we've definitely been buying the stone fruits and, and eating those up like crazy. So that's been really, really good, really fun. That's slightly a bad, but a good for me because I'm trying to eat plant-based. So last week, I was under the wagon for candy. I have no excuse for it. My birthday's passed, the baby's birthday's passed, my husband, no excuse. But I wanted something sweet. Dried apricots weren't doing it, fresh fruit wasn't doing it. So I bought a bag of Hershey's Kisses. And then I was like, well, what about some of the little mini Hershey's almonds? Those would be good too. And then what about, I was on the phone with my mom, she was talking about the mint Oreos out of the freezer. I was like, dang, let me buy some. I bought them. I didn't open them. I've opened the kisses, but I didn't open anything else. And I'll find myself when I get stressed or when I need to do something or when like there's a big project coming, I'm grabbing five of the Hershey's Kisses at a time. And I'm like, I, I, I let myself do that for a couple of days. And then I did not let myself feel guilt about it and feel terrible about it. And I was like, it is what it is. I don't know if I'm eating it because it's here. You know what I mean? And it's like, well, you got to deal with the root of why you bought it, but not right now. Right now, you're still hungry even though you just ate the candy. This is why you're not eating the candy. And also, you're just snacking. So my new thing is just talking to myself. Kyla, you want something because you, you're stressed. <laughs> the food is not going to deal with the stress. So my life has stressors. How about that? We'll just say it like that. So we're not back to this level. You know, I'll plug in this video here. This is a real, a real video of me after grocery shopping. So given the fact that it's been six weeks, it wasn't a terrible thing, but also we got to deal with the fact that I get stressed. I just want something that's just going to like be yummy and good right now. And that's what I turn to. So I'll have to keep an eye on that. So yeah, so overall, I tried to go with the good, bad, and the ugly. And it kind of more so was good, 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 good. Couple bads. And then the uglies were negotiable. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this six week update. Um, it feels good for me to give it because it was a lot more realistic from the first one because I just had a lot more experience with it. So if you are interested in switching to a low-fat or plant-based diet, feel free to look at my other videos that are listed here. And even if you just want to know why I'm doing this, why I'm even giving a six-week update, what's happening, feel free to watch the videos in this playlist and just, you know, learn a little bit more about me and how I'm changing my health at 38 years old. Let me know if you learned anything from this video, if there's any suggestions or recommendations of things I should try, 
and I will see you next time. This is Kyla Denagno. Bye.